Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm uh, going to speak about the Rangers and Johnston game that we've just watched. Uh, fantastic result. Uh, we'll just get straight into this video. So the match finished. Rangers 5, St Johnston 1. It's a really, really good result, as I've said. Uh, particularly scoring that many goals, considering uh, Celtic have dropped points this weekend as well, uh, as of Hearts, which kind of helps us out. We moved into second place now because of that win. Uh, we'll kind of talk about the goals and stuff as well. Uh, Tavernier opened the scoring. Uh, I predicted Tav to score. And I predicted Lafferty to score, which we'll get on in a minute. Uh, so I got those two things right. I didn't get the score right at all. Uh, I said 2-0. I was pretty confident that we would uh, we'd pretty much dominate them. And that's what we pretty much did throughout the game. Uh, Morelos got the second goal. It was a really good finish, actually. Uh, kind of played it on his left foot and put it in the opposite corner with the keeper. Really good finish from him. Delighted with that. Uh, I think this, before we scored the second goal, actually Taff hit the 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 bar with another free kick, so he, he could have had two there. To be honest, uh, played really really well. Uh, so it finished two 0 uh, in the first half. So it was, we were pretty much in control at that point. I think. So into the second half, and we pretty much uh, started the way we did in the first half. Uh, played really, really well in spells. We managed to get a, a third goal in the 52nd minute. And uh, to be honest, I was I was actually on the phone to my wife at the, at the time it scored, so I didn't really see the build up. Uh, I know Scott Arfield finished it. Uh, that's his second goal now uh, in a week. He, had, he scored on Thursday night, obviously against Villarreal. Which was a well taken goal. Uh, so I can't really talk about that goal. Um, Lafferty came on, and in the seventy fourth minute he scored. Yeah, it was a, quite a good move actually. And we pretty much had players lining up to score. It eventually made its way out to the left, and he set a curling shot with his right foot into the, the opposite corner of the net. Really good finish from Lafferty. And um, we're Pretty much really in control, and then we got a a soft penalty for me against us. Uh, Arfield's uh, tackled Alston, and to be honest, I think he's made the most of it. But it's gone down. Referee's given the penalty. Uh, McGregor's guessed right, and he's went straight down the middle with it. Decent penalty, but as I say, I think it was really, really soft, uh, and. It was disappointing, it kind of took the shine off uh, the performance a bit for me. But then, uh, three minutes later, we were back on top and Kandeas got his goal. And played really, really well. Arfield released him, but I think that Arfield kind of just delayed the pass slightly. And uh, instead of Kandeas maybe hitting it first time with his right foot, he's had to cut inside and take a touch on his left and he slotted it home. Very, very good finish from Candias, and for me, Candias was fantastic today. Uh, it could have been him or any one of the the players today for Man of the Match. For me, it was Candias. I think his work rate was absolutely superb. Uh, there was a couple of things I wanted to talk about uh, that happened during the game. The Tav went off with a... It looked like he took a little knock. And instead of uh, Gerard maybe taking... Uh, or put sorry, putting Halliday on at left back and pushing Flanagan over to the right, which probably would have made made sense. Uh, he brought on Nigeria to play him in midfield and kept um, Flanagan on the left where he was and pushed McCrory over to the right back position where he'd previously been in the in the holding position. And to be honest, he looked like he'd played there his whole career. He was really really comfortable there. And. Uh, he did really well. Chased back, made a couple of good, really good tackles. Uh, good, good, really, really good defensively. And to be honest, he was, he's going forward pretty good as well. He had a couple of crosses that were uh, obviously they were cut out, uh, but he got himself forward uh, and did really, really well. Really, really comfortable in that position. Uh, it's good to to have that kind of option. 
And I know it's, it's the first time I've seen McCrory play there, but for some reason I've had it in my head that he can play right back. You know, usually when I'm playing FIFA, if I get an injury or something, I'll play McCrory at right back for for whatever reason. It's in my head that he can play right back, and I'm pretty much right on that aspect, to be honest. He slotted in there really, really well. I'll say, uh, on the same note, good to see Ajaria back. Uh, it's him back from his little injury that he had. And he, he played pretty well. Didn't really put a foot wrong. Also good to see Doran's back as well from his injury. He got like half an hour. Didn't, didn't really do a lot, but he didn't do anything wrong, to be honest. Didn't put a foot wrong, as did Ajaria, to be honest. Played really, really well. And another thing I just wanted to say was uh, Candace's work rate again. It was just superb for me. It was by far man of the match. Uh, I know the commentators gave it to Morelos uh, for his finish and to be honest uh, for me Morelos I mean he had a chance near the end to get a sixth and his legs just weren't working they were just they looked pretty tired and uh, I'll say that kind of after we scored the fifth maybe the last maybe 10 minutes or so we looked pretty complacent we kept giving the ball away uh, Katic had a, a bad back pass that uh, they cut out and they could have scored from. Swanson had a chance that went just wide. And to be honest, if St Johnston had taken their chances, they could have scored three goals at the end of that game. It kind of looked a little bit nervy. And it's strange to say because we were 5 1 up, but I just wanted the game to end at that point. I just We looked a little bit nervous. And it's probably just tiredness from, from Thursday night, but. I know that Gerard will not be happy with that. He will obviously be happy with the five goals. But he'll want more from the team throughout the 90 minutes, I think. And I think I've not seen the post match interview from him, but I think he'll pretty much say that, that he's, he's not happy with the, the complacency that we showed it in the last kind of 10 minutes. Whereas, as I say, they probably could have scored. Uh, Flanagan in the first half as well had a, a bad pack pass. And uh, McGregor came quickly off his line to deal with it. But it's a little bit of complacency creeping in. Uh, Kittich looked, I looked a real, really, really nervous today. I don't know why that was. Uh, perhaps it's maybe being dropped and then coming back in. It's just a little bit shaky. I don't know what that is, but you've got to remember he's still a young player. Uh, remember in the, in the first half, Kent played really, really well, actually. And I thought he was probably going to score. Had a couple of good efforts. Uh, got sized down by at one point by Ricky Foster, the uh, ex Rangers player. And I thought with him being booked, he was a right back. Kent was going against him. I thought that was maybe something we could have exploited more. We didn't really go down that side after the booking, which for me seemed a bit stupid. We pretty much should have just had Kent run at him the whole time. And I was even thinking at that point when he got booked. That maybe this was a chance for Middleton to come on in the second half and run at him as well. And maybe chances of getting a, a second yellow for him. That didn't happen. We didn't kind of didn't really exploit the, the wide areas as much today. Uh, we kept going inside and, and it was a little bit congested in the middle. And I don't really understand. We, we probably could have used more of the spaces out wide, if I'm honest, if there's any criticism of, the, of that. But overall, really, really happy with that result. Yeah, that's a second on the table now. Yeah, we're five points behind Hearts now, but we're, we're playing them in a couple of weeks. Uh, really excited about that game. I'm gonna, I've got a ticket for that, so I'm gonna go to the match. Really, really excited about it. I'm buzzing. To be honest, it's, it could be like a kind of top of the table clash. A lot earlier in the season, and it's still kind of classed as that. So yeah, thanks for watching the video, guys. Uh, I don't know why, but I seem pretty nervous in these videos and I, I didn't feel nervous when I'm doing them but I kind of watch back and I'm like oh he's nervous and he's making mistakes and kind of things so yeah, bear, bear with me for that because I will get better at these videos and I'm doing them not, not very long to be honest so I'll get better at them hopefully and you guys can keep keep watching so subscribe if you're new, uh, get a, hit that like button, uh, if you want to discuss anything in the comments, uh, who, who do you think your man of the match was, anything like that, how well did we play in your opinion, 
and if you think we look nervous in the latter stages then put that there as well so cheers for watching thanks i'll see you in the next one guys cheers